What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode. So now we're in the largest city of Belize. This one is called Belize City. It's on the Caribbean coast. Then you have keys out. Take the boat out. Pedro Key and Cocker Key. But yeah, this city, again, largest city here in Belize. So let me give you guys a nice 360 view of how things look. Couple of attractions, restaurants you can visit. So this is a good way to see how it looks before you visit, or if you can't visit, you can see how it looks. So welcome to my channel. The goal is give you a more authentic, down to earth, get your hands dirty with the locals. You know, talk to them, learn learn something new. But yeah, let's go check out uh, the city of Belize, Belize city. Here in Belize. Till next time, Javales. Okay, so this road here is called Mahogany Avenue. Leads to the downtown area of the city, Belize City. And again, I like to walk, get to see a little bit more, and uh, whatever catches your attention. It's like a nice restaurant there. Chef Inslee Naked Kitchen there. Again, it's a heavily Caribbean influenced country. And here it looks like in the city as well. I do see a lot of American vehicles here. You know, your typical Toyota, Chevys, Hondas, and motorbikes. And bicycles as well, people ride around. Fairly clean city. So we're gonna look at some more attractions here. A couple of restaurants. Learn a thing or two, right? As you travel. Alright, let's head downtown a little bit more. See what else we can find. Alright, so now we're at another intersection. This one is uh Mahogany, we just walked off that one. And now we're on Central American Avenue. Taking a stroll down this street here. Again, it's the largest city in the country of Belize. It actually was the capital city at one point. But now it's Belmopan, which is further inland. But this is a coastal city. And again, you can take boats out to the small islands, call them Keys where most of the tourists go hang out but again I try to have a local experience so I walk as the locals I eat with the locals check out some local history there is a museum here check that out and definitely known for like water activities as well has the second largest barrier reef here in the world, here in Belize, off the coast. So yeah, I try to show you guys how it looks. Obviously not every part of the cities where I go visit, but at least you have an idea of how it looks. All right, so let's see what else we could find here. Try to work my way downtown. This clearly is the Civic Center. It's like a fairly new building. Belize is part of the CARICOM of nations. So if you're born in say Jamaica, like myself, I can pretty much live and work visa free. I think up to six months in the CARICOM nations. I believe it's like 15 or 14 countries. So that's good to know, right? similar to like the European Union the only thing is the Caribbean doesn't have a common currency so hopefully that will change soon hey there's your Civic Center here off uh, Central American Highway all right see what else we can find all right so 
so it's called Flag Roundabout. You have a bridge you can cross over the highway. A little bit higher angle, or you can see how it looks here in Belize City. It's a very mixed cultural language country here, especially the largest city, Belize City here. Santiago Castello Plaza. And that's how it looks from the top. It's top angle here. There is an international airport. Not too far from here, we could fly in. And a small airport as well. Okay, this road here is called Phillips Goldson Highway. So if you cross the, the bridge there, get onto this road. You can fly in, or you can take the bus down. Many ways to get here. Belize City. Okay, still here in Belize City. You can look up some attractions. I'll leave the links below. This one here is a, I guess a poplar sign. We're approaching some of the homes here. As you can see, this part of the neighborhood, part of the city is doing well off, looks like. Some nice homes here. Modern looking. Oh, there's an iguana. Those, those are also native to Belize. Iguanas there. Sunbathing. <laughs> Very nice modern home there. Beautiful day here. Tropical country, so just keep that in mind when you come to visit. Sunscreen. Hydrate. Minister of Food Economy and Civil Aviation. Okay. So yeah, here's your Poplar Belize sign. Right on the harbor there. There's the Caribbean Sea further out. Turn this around a little bit. Uh, okay, so got that there. A little selfie. Alright. That's how it looks. Bring your kids out here. Nice little area to cool off, have a drink or two. Lucky Turtles of Belize. Touch both for good luck. Alright, definitely. There you go. Sea turtle. The language here is again predominantly English, but you do hear some mixture, like a Creole. And Spanish. Mayan as well. There you go, nice little 360 view of this place here. This water looks like it's brackish, coming the river that leads to the Caribbean Sea here. Okay. That's how it looks. Alright, let's see what else we can find here. Try to walk downtown, go to the museum. Got some hand crafted baskets here. Like coconut leaves. Pick up some souvenirs, get some fresh coconuts. Potassium there. Alright. Get some manatees down here as well. Alright, so let me take a picture of this and I'll see you guys downtown. Till next time. Job less. 
Okay, so that's the national beer here in Belize. This is uh, Barak Road. Another popular street here. This one's along the, the water, the Caribbean Sea. Big Bob fans here as well. Looks like there's a nice little barbecue spot there to have some meal. Moe's Pizza and Pasta. couple of hotels down here as well parking three dollars per day again one US equals two Belizean dollar as you can see there this spot has an area you can sit out by the water got some keys out there take a boat trip trip out There is the museum close by. I'll try to take you all to that shortly. Yeah, right on the water here. This water is brackish. Mix of salt water and fresh water. You can dock your boat right out there. That's the Ramada Hotel there. That's how it looks. Let's go check out this museum in downtown. Alright, so finally made it close to the museum here. You can tell a lot of the homes here, the buildings made out of wood. This is the mahogany, large export of mahogany wood. So yeah, here's the Museum of Belize. Well, it's relatively new, looks like. Let's see if we can check out some hours here. Independence for this country is 1981, September. Museum of Belize and Houses of Culture. Here's your hours, Monday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. That looks on the outside here. 360 view of the entrance. All right, let's see if we can take a peek on the inside. Let's see if we can bring some cameras in there as well. Okay, so we made it inside of this museum here in Belize City. We have a few exhibits. This one, as you can see, the transatlantic slave trade. It's also a big history here in the Caribbean and Belize as well. That's where the Africans were transported in the ships there. That's how it looks. There's a local community here in the country. Garafuna. It's like an African culture town here in the city. Or in the country, excuse me. A little bit further south. You can see there. This is the first floor. Oh, that's a big, big pot there for cooking. Social hierarchy. Again, this is all historic in the past. It can help us to become better for the future. Okay, Belize Town. What we know today as Belize City was once the center of the settlement, Old Belize 
town. The British, who did not copy St. George K, built their homes within the boundaries of the tiny town. There were just 2,200 homes in the town, many of which owned by affluent members of society. These homes of the wealthy mirrored a colonial style, ideal for warm climate, a raised main floor with an encircled porch in more than one level. While elites had copied more spacious quarters, poor people lived in barracks. The town was further divided by north and south side. Okay, a little history of Belize town there. Eh? And as you can see on the map, the Caribbean Sea there. Mexico, Honduras, Guatemala, Caribbean Sea, Cuba's not too far. Yeah, that's how it looks. All right, let's head upstairs. Okay, here's another section of the museum. Here you got some coins. The first written records of currency in the settlement of British Honduras was the Jamaican pound. However, a short shortage of money in the coin and the desire to trade with Spanish neighbors meant that logwood and mahogany were used as barter items. Spanish coins and other silver and gold coins found in their way to the settlement as British Honduras grew as a point for trade with Central America. A wide variety of coins appeared. The confusion as to their value forced officials to proclaim the value of the coins of many nations in the Gazette. It was not until 1884 that British Honduras became an independent crown colony and issued its first coinage the following year. There's some history there. So yeah, it was called British Honduras back in the day. Did have some Spanish influence as well. There's your Belize flag. Some medicine bottles here. Okay. Bottles. Okay, let's see what else we got. Blues and banknotes. Yeah, so the currency, the highest is like a hundred, and then fifty, twenty, ten, five, two, and ones. Let's have a look. The currency. It's been that way for a long time. And as you can see, the Queen of England is on each dollar, or every dollar, right there. Okay, let's see if there's another room upstairs. Okay, so there's another section upstairs. And as you can see now, you have some Mayan influence in Belize as well. Let's watch your step. Got some art paintings here. This exhibition ex examines the artistry of Belizean artist Pen Cayentino during the course of his creative career. The paintings in this collection were done during their time in Germany where he lived from 1990 to 2009 with his family. The show is divided around numerous topics, including early style, development of Penn and Punta King, and others that investigate Penn's work. All right. So yeah, here's some paintings here. Here in the museum. And some wooden artifacts. Again, we talked about the mahogany wood here in Belize. We still use it today. So it looks very nice. Try to give you guys a local perspective again. Go to some museums, some attractions, restaurants. Learn a thing or two about the cities and countries that I visit, I'll take you with me. So mostly paintings on this level here. Nice and cool up here. Get the AC going. All right. Pretty much.
much all paintings except for some local drums. Sagunda, that's a drum there. Garawan, Primero, some Sisira, some turtle shells. Not sure what they use that for, but make some cool sounds. Birds of Belize. So Belize is also known for its exotic animals and plants. So here we have some birds of Belize. In here. Let's see if I see anything familiar. This one looks familiar. The purple galeno. They're in Florida as well. Florida is not too far from here. Birds of Belize, do not touch. Bat Falcon and Hooded Warmer. Oh, this one looks huge. I've never seen this bird before. The Great Carousel. Nice. Some owls. They can rotate their head like 180. <laughs> Pretty cool. Night birds, owls. Black and white owl. Nice. It's a big one there. Forest falcon. Birds of prey and some more tacoon. All right, pretty nice. Okay, it's pretty much gonna wrap up this museum tour here. Take you guys downtown, maybe to like a Central Park area. We're pretty much downtown now, but I want to go like more centralized downtown area. So yeah, this is how it looks. Like, share, subscribe. Have a jobless day. Till next time. Alright, so made it to the tourist port area in Belize City. Right here we have another view. So you can take a cruise down here to Belize City. As you can see there, straight ahead. You got a cruise line ship. Another Belize. Take some pictures there. Looks like a nice sunset view area. Take your boat ride up to the islands there. That's how it looks. Straight ahead there is another section of the downtown area. And looks like we've got a lighthouse there as well. A couple of vendors. Not as busy, I guess, because of the cruise lines. Once they come in, get deboard. Walk around, there's some shopping restaurants as well there. That's how it looks. Yeah, the stairs is like a little tourist area. So yeah, here's the largest city in the country of Belize, Belize City. It's not a heavily populated country, it's in total maybe half a million. And then in the city here, it's like maybe close to 100,000 people that lives here. 
All right, gonna wrap up this episode, Belize City. Like, share, subscribe. Have a job less day. All right, we're gonna wrap up this episode here, Belize City. This is downtown area. Little intersection. Not too far from the tourist area. And the cruise port. And now we're gonna cross. This is a river here that cuts the city pretty much in half. And it empties into the Caribbean Sea. That's how it looks there. That's a bridge, a drawback bridge looks like. And you got your boats there. Taxi, water taxis. Old River Bar and Grill over there. Check that out. Belize fastest water taxi. There's their website there. All right, let's cross this river. That's how it looks. Fresh water there. Well, this is another section of downtown Belize city. Old River Bar and Grill. I have to check that out before I leave. Check out some of the ratings. Right. Back around another shop here. I have some snacks and food there. Across the street. City Hall. Not as busy as I thought. Rush hour. Let's try to find some ice cream. Again, it's hot. Been walking around. Make sure you hydrate. Mule Park. First built. 1912. Park. A lot of shopping here. Belize Bank. It's a national bank there. leave some links for y'all to check out obviously but I try to keep these videos under say 35 40 minutes just give you a nice 360 view of how things look in the different cities and countries that I travel to give you an idea a little preview that way if you want to visit you know how it looks and if you can't visit you see how it looks as well nice 360 view there Oh yeah, this is downtown Belize City. We got a couple national heroes there on the left. The original buildings are mostly wood. Mahogany. And looks like we got some government buildings there on the left. All right, let's wrap up this episode. Like, share, subscribe. Have a jobless day. Till next time. One love.